Hi, in this video I will talk about Kenny Edge Detection. When we look at an image, we can easily discriminate boundaries and details of objects. Boundaries and details are edges. It is also possible to find these boundaries and details using image processing techniques. Process is called edge detection. Let's apply edge detection to half of the image. At the right, anchor boundary, details on concrete surface, C, and even shadow contour are observable. Edge detection is often used as a preliminary step of various applications, for example, object detection and image segmentation. In deep learning, some filters in early layers of convolutional base learn to detect edges at different orientations. For more information on what convolutional neural network learns, you may refer to Visualize Convolutional Neural Network Filters and Visualize Convolutional Neural Network Feature Maps videos on my channel. To illustrate related concepts more easily, I will use a simpler image. This is a digital RGB image, which means it has three channels. Edge detection is performed on single channel grayscale image. Grayscale image does not have color information and each pixel holds on the brightness value. For details of RGB grayscale conversion, you may refer to grayscale conversion and YCBCR color space videos on my channel. Grayscale image is simply a matrix. For an 8-bit image, pixel values range from 0 to 255. Let's zoom into this 10 by 10 rectangle. These are the brightness values for pixels inside the rectangle. Now let's view brightness data of low resolution version of this image as a 3D graph. Note how cluttered the surface is even for this simple image. And imagine the case for more complex images. It is clear that at edge pixels there are discontinuities. At the close neighborhood of edges, pixel values change remarkably. One method to detect edge pixels is to convolve image with a high pass filter. Convolution. In computer vision, convolution is used to extract image structures or features. 2D convolution of image I and kernel K is defined with this equation. Kernel is flipped. 
If kernel is not flipped, the operation is cross correlation. Image and kernel are both matrices. Kernel is generally much smaller than image. Convolution is sum of element wise multiplication. For a 3 by 3 kernel, 9 multiplications and 8 additions are needed. It can also be expressed as a dot product. Here is an animation that I created to illustrate the convolution process. There are different types of convolution. For more details, you may refer to convolution 1, 2 and 3 videos on my channel. Kenny Edge Detection Kenny method produces one pixel thick edges with high noise elimination performance. Steps for Kenny Edge Detection As the first step, input image is smoothed with Gaussian filter. Sobel Edge Detection is applied to smoothed image. For more details on Sobel method, you may refer to private Sobel Edge Detection video on my channel. Edge thinning is performed on Sobel output. Edge thinning stage is also named as non-maximum suppression. And hysteresis thresholding is applied as the final stage. Edge thinning or non-maximum suppression. Using first order derivatives for edge detection, as in Previt and Sobel, produces thick, blurry edges. Consider this image, which contains a smoothed edge. One row of brightness is plotted below. And this is first order derivative computed using Sobel. Image is scaled for illustration. One row of first order derivative is plotted below. If gradient threshold is set to 2, Then thickness of detected edge is 168 pixels. Edge thinning keeps pixels that have maximum gradient magnitude among neighbors along gradient direction and suppresses the others. This way one pixel thick edges are obtained. Operation is performed for each pixel separately. Let's work on an example. Process is performed on a 3x3 three three neighborhood. Image coordinate system is as shown.
At Sobel output, gradient directions are quantized to one of the angles 0, 45, 90 and 135 degrees. Consider gradient direction of center pixel P11. As an example, let gradient direction angle of P11 be 90 degrees. Then magnitudes of P01 and P21 are compared with magnitude of P11. If magnitude of P11 is less than either or both of P01 and P21, then it is suppressed to zero, otherwise P11 is kept as an edge pixel. As a second example, let gradient direction angle of P11 be 45 degrees. Then magnitudes of P00 and P22 are compared with magnitude of P11. If magnitude of P11 is less than either or both of P00 and P22, then it is suppressed to zero, otherwise P11 is kept as an edge pixel. This is our input image. This is gradient magnitude for Sobel edge detection. And applying edge thinning, one pixel thick edges are obtained. Hysteresis thresholding. After edge detection, with or without edge thinning, result is thresholded to remove faint details and noise. No matter how carefully the threshold is chosen, some edge pixels stay below threshold and are lost. As a result, edges are divided into edge pieces. If threshold is lowered as a remedy, more noise pixels are marked as edge. Hysteresis thresholding incorporates a second threshold. This means more decision rules and higher performance on eliminating noise while keeping edges. If pixel gradient magnitude is greater than high threshold, then this pixel is strong edge pixel. If gradient magnitude is less than low threshold, then it's not an edge pixel. If gradient magnitude is less than high threshold and greater than low threshold, then it's a weak edge pixel. In this case, we check whether it is connected with strong edge pixels. If it's not connected with strong edge pixels, then it's not an edge pixel. If it is connected with strong edge pixels, then it is accepted as edge pixel. These two types are kept as edge. This is the result of Kenny edge detection. Here is an animation showing input and output of Kenny edge detection. And that's all for this video. See you next time.